All right, so of course, Doji from Rover's Morning Glory radio show is here filling in for Dave. Like we've told you, if you're a fan of the radio show, you know that Rover and the guys are always giving you a hard time. I don't know why. I mean, they weren't so sure about you coming here today. Here's what they had to say. Uh-oh. <laughs> The news is here. Channel 3 is here filming Doogie. She's so nervous. She's she's terrible on camera. I can't believe they're actually going to put her on television. <laughs> yeah, she always stares. Let's just be honest. She's really bad on camera. She stares right into the camera. And she like, freezes. Yeah, she's supposed like, to. No, you're not. Yeah, you are when you're doing the, on the news. news. Yeah. You are. Okay, yeah. in the news. But like if she's talking to somebody, then she always like looks into the camera. So. Okay, stop right there. <laughs> oh Number one, don't listen to them. Number two, you are doing fantastic. Yeah. Oh my really gosh. Are. Okay. All right, so we're going to let you prove them wrong. Oh no. We have a few stories for you to read. Okay. And, and here's a pro tip you are supposed to look into the camera. Okay, yeah, I was right. That's why they're here. Okay, <laughs> yes. so this could be. We don't ignore the cameras. Yes. <laughs> this camera. This oh, camera, I, right I thought here. It was right here. Oh my gosh. See, look at that. Now I'm going to get. No. More than a dozen people got trapped on a gondola ride at SeaWorld, and they had to be rescued overnight. Oh, this happened at the SeaWorld in San Diego. <laughs> they were stuck on the Bayside Sky Ride, about 80 feet in the air over water. Rescue crews had to get everyone down, and everyone using a rope system, that's how they were rescued. It took about four hours. So what caused this? Officials say a big gust of wind tripped a circuit breaker. A, hike, a hiker in Utah spent all night in the brutal cold at Zion National Park after getting trapped in quicksand. It took crews about two hours to free his leg, and by that time, it was too late to evacuate, so the man and rescue workers had to spend another night in the cold. Helicopters were able to get him to safety in the morning, and a little later this morning, he's going to tell his story on the Today Show. And finally, people in Las Vegas, they woke up to something they don't normally bet on, snow. It was covering their desert city. The rare snowfall caused some major issues on the roads. Interstate 15 had to actually be shut down because of the crashes. This is their first measurable snowfall in a decade, and there is more snow in the forecast. Oh, right, Don. Right? <laughs> How did that feel? You did great. I was sitting I, in my dress. Oh, it took me a while to get up. <laughs> you look pretty. No, it was hard because there's, sorry, there's people in your ear, and I was like, wrong camera. <laughs> this guy here pointing me that way. I'm just kidding, honey. But this, <laughs> Geo, don't point to the wrong totally. camera. Totally. Um, this was your dream, though. Like you wanted to be a news uh, anchor, right? Yeah. Can I rewind that? <laughs> no, no, you do you great. Conquer it. It is what you just great. did, and oh it's my gosh. not easy no. to do. No, no. And I've never do done. It. I've never done. Hey, this listen. System. It's not like she came in and practiced this. No, no you just walked no. in here cold yes. and did it. We said, here's some papers. Here, here you go. Read <laughs> from the teleprompter. Thank yes. you, Susie. <laughs> great job. Thank